back to another Welsh Christopher Robin vlog. Uh, for those of you, you blah, 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 blah. for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining us. I am Robin of the Welsh Christopher Robin. Chris isn't here at the moment, um, but it's it's not a packing haul. It's more of a we're first timers to Disney. Well first time that I've ever been to Walt Disney World shall we say um so I have watched lots and lots of different vlogs about what to take on the plane in your bag in your park bag loads of them found some more helpful than others the ones that I would say for me were really really helpful were Napoli Ever After Disney in Detail and um Brogan Tate and I will link all of those down below um, but yeah I hope you find this useful it's really just a small snippet of what we're taking um, more what I'm taking than what Chris is taking um, just as an FYR if you are new to the channel and you're watching this sometime in the future we are going to Disney World in end of November 2021 um, and I found it quite difficult packing for that time of year because we are going again in May 2022 when we know it's just gonna be really hot but this time of year is a bit of a tricky one, isn't it? Because it could be quite cool in the morning and then warm up at lunchtime, cool down in the evening. So, yes, yeah, definitely been... I'm going to probably take more than I should, but hey-ho, that's allowed, isn't it? So let's crack on with it. Let's start with cases and what cases we're taking. Cases that we are taking are these trip cases. Now, these are 110 litre cases. They are huge, I would say. Um, kind of like in an anthracite grey. We've actually bought four of these. We got them in the sale last Christmas. If I turn it on its side, then you can kind of see um, how big it is. We're a bit weird like that. We do like to have matchy matchy. So we've got the trip um, sort of tags on as well. And then, and then open it up and there they are. So yeah, so we've got 110 litres in that. It should be plenty. So Chris and I are taking three of these cases um, when we go in November. So that's the case and again I'll try and link them down below their trip cases so moving on to bags that I'm going to take on the plane I am going to take this one now this is from Asda again I bought it last year it was only 14 quid um, but I really like the design on it I thought it was sort of Mickey-esque but without being crazy if you get my drift um, plenty of room inside um, I've also got some other little bags and stuff like that that I'm taking um, clearly this is unrehearsed um, I've got a little R one that I might use for something. I've got a swimming costume bag. And then this is going to go in the actual bag. Just so that I can keep certain things neat and tidy. Um, but yeah, quite a nice size. And as I say, quite intuitive and cheerful. Don't want to spend a fortune on stuff. Got a nice long handle on it as well. Yeah, really liked it. And then in terms of an actual bag, so a small handbag then... I bought this one from Shop Disney back in the summer um, and I really like it because it's got the little holes in it you can stick on your pins and I've got a snow white one there so hopefully I'll be able to take some and get some more while I'm out there but again really nice size zip nice chunky strap so yeah that is what I'm going to be taking on the plane for my bags talking of on the plane I am um, I've got a couple of face masks. Obviously, we need to wear face masks the entire time we're on the plane. A friend recommended me who did quite a lot of flying was to get the satin ones. So these ones are from a company called, they're on Etsy, PLB Store. I think that's what they're called. So I've got one that's just sort of softer and then I've also got one and they've got filters and things in them as well that's got like a nose metal piece. Um, so I'm gonna try those. I've got a little, this is just Primark hairbrush and mirror that I've recently bought Mickey power bank he's upside down bless him and then I've got some cuddly socks I showed these in a haul that I did very recently and um, some nice cuddly socks for the plane and then a really nice blanket and again that will go in my hand luggage um, take those and those as well so that's what's going on the plane to clothes and what I'm taking that wise I just wanted to show you a few sort of different bits that I have put in as recommendations um, from other travellers um, that have done it loads of people have said take a hand steam genie I think this one was about 50 quid maybe we got it off Amazon haven't used it yet so wouldn't can't recommend it but it has other people have recommended them just because stuff gets creased in your case quickly give it a hand steam 
Barbara's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, so to speak. Jungle straws, we have gone for a range, and again, this is all from Amazon, um, of sort of different sized bamboo straws this time, and we'll take a little bit of washing up liquid, and then, yeah, we'll just use those around the park, so that'll go in park bags. Wet wipes are going to be taken everywhere, we've seen loads of people put these on the plane and use them, around the parks, wherever they need to be. Um, yeah, we're going to each have a pack of those in our bags for obvious reasons. And then the final sort of um, hint and tip that we've got at the moment is Ziploc bags. Loads of people have said to take a good selection of these. If something gets wet or you're on a wet ride, you can put your phones in, your wallets, all that type of things. Obviously, vlogging cameras. Um, yeah, if you buy something food-wise, you don't want to finish it off, you can put them on. So yeah, so we've got a big, huge bundle of those. Again, all from Amazon. And the final thing that we're just waiting on coming on from Amazon is a four socket extension lead with an American plug. Because we're going to be vlogging over there as well, we need to make sure we've got plenty of charging points. So yeah, so we're just waiting for that one to come. So that's our kind of final um, really good tip, I guess, in terms of if you've got loads of stuff that you need to be charging. Here's um, kind of maybe the most exciting bit, which is clothes and t-shirts and shorts and all that shenanigans. So this is just a selection of stuff that I'm going to take. So we've got t-shirts, we've got jumpers, raincoat, hoodies, that type of thing. So when it comes to what I'm going to wear every day in the park, and I will vlog it and I will put it on Instagram as well as kind of like what I'm wearing in the park every day. Chris would put it on, except it'd be the same outfit every day. Sort of grey shorts, grey, black, white t-shirt. But how I've done it and how I've seen Napoli Ever After do it is obviously now if you go into Walt Disney World, you have to book your park days. So you will know every day what park you're going into. Therefore, for me, and this type of thing gives me anxiety in terms of if I don't know what I'm wearing, where I'm going, am I going to be too hot? Am I going to be too cold? Um, is it going to look right? Do my outfit match? Blah, 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 blah. All that type of thing. That type of thing will cause me anxiety, which is not a great start to a Disney day, is it? So what I'm going to do before I go um, is basically, so I know the first day that we're there, we are going to Hollywood Studios. So therefore, I know that I need to have a Hollywood Studios t-shirt. So in nine times out of ten, I'm probably going to wear this one, nine times out of ten, I am going to wear this one. So this t-shirt, if I just turn it around and show you, is from a company called Magical Day Apparel. Again, I'll link it below. Um, and it's basically for um, Galaxy's Edge, Bright Suns. And then I will make sure I've got a pair of shorts that matches that, jumper, all the rest of it, so I know in the morning that's what I'm putting on. Same for an Epcot day. And again, this is um, a Magical Day Apparel t-shirt. Um, and then I've got ones that would suit sort of Magic Kingdom or Hollywood Studios. This one, again, I vlogged a couple of days ago or a couple of weeks ago, I think. Clearly, that's an Animal Kingdom one. Now, I'm going to take a variety of different shorts. Um, I am going to take some jeans, but I am going to take some skirts as well. Um, and I'll show you those in a second. Again, I'm going to take a variety of sort of jumpers so that I can layer up. All of it's pretty much Disney, sort of, you know inspired um and then i've got another hoodie there as well this one i think is is really oversized so i think i'm going to wear that on the way home um and then just while we're on that i have got and chris has bought one as well a packet jacket just so we can keep it we don't know what the weather's going to be like but i think it's going to be a really good idea just to be able to throw that in your park bag um it's got a bag that it goes in i got it nice and oversized i've got a 20 um just so that if I've got a big jumper on or something like that, I know it's still got plenty of room. So that's kind of tops, and that's how I'm going to do my day, so I know that I'm not stressing out in the mornings. So I know we're going to Animal Kingdom. I put t-shirt on with shorts that I know looks good. Bish bash bosh, ready to go. So as I said, I'm also going to take some skirts with me. Now this is terrible angle, so I do apologise. It's really small, this little bit of our bedroom where I'm doing this. Um, so yeah, I've got two pleated sort of like maxi skirts that I'm going to take as well. One is very clearly sort of Animal Kingdom or Galaxy's Edge, I'm not sure, ask. And then the other one to me just screams. It's like a really bright pink. It looks red. Yeah, so I've also got two, well, these are two of this more, more sort of day dresses that I'm going to take. So again, I've got one that's sort of Animal Kingdom ask. And then this one I think is more kind of like Epcot vibe. I'm thinking Flower and Garden. But yeah, they're two of the sort of day dresses that I might take and wear as well. 
And then I've got two more sort of evening dresses. I really need to get better at this vlog sort of camera angle, don't I? So they're longer dresses. One is sort of long, long sleeve. Is it sort of plissé? Plissé? I'm not sure how you say it. But yeah, kind of that material. Um, but it's really nice and light and thin. Um, so yeah, so that'll be really pretty. It's a really nice green. And then the other one is almost kind of, I think, um, sort of like Magic Kingdom with a pair of nice little black and red ears. I've worn this on a few different vlogs. Um, yeah, and again, potentially sort of, you know, evening, that type of thing. I am taking um, a denim jacket as well for the evenings, um, as well as a sort of jumpers and things. So hopefully, um, yeah, that should work. While we're on, excuse this, what looks like a pile of mess. Um, while we're on dresses, these are fabulous. And I've got loads of them. These are what I call, these are what I call my chub rub shorts. So I have larger thighs. It gets hot and sweaty. It's not a nice place to be. So these are from a company called Snag. I will link them down below. Um, and basically they're like cycling shorts, but they're like tight material. So if I show you, they're really thin and really stretchy. I've got them all in sort of nude colors or coffee colors. And they are great. I had them on in the summer under skirts and stuff like that. Let me just move these little bags out of the way. Um, and they are great. They're perfect for around, you know, anywhere that's hot and sweaty and you've got a dress or a skirt on. They're amazing. I would 100% recommend them. Um, taking a cap. Just got a black one that I got from Primark in the summer. Um, some good quality socks. These ones from Primark are amazing. They're kind of reinforced heels and all the rest of it. Cushioned soles job is a good end. So on to footwear. I've only got a little bundle here of the stuff that I'm taking but these are the kind of main talking points. So these are my Nikes. I'll show you. These ones they're under 50 quid. These have got to be like my fifth pair of this type of trainer. Again I'll link it down below but they are so comfortable. I've had them in black, I've had them in white, loads of different colours. These ones will go with practically everything. I know that if I'm walking around the parks all day these are super comfy, so highly recommend that you get, and again, I'll link these down below, as I said, get yourself a really good pair of trainers to walk around in. I then have these, which are just gorgeous. So they've got Mickey and Minnie on the bottom. They are Adidas. They were quite expensive. I think they were like 70, 80 quid. They're Stan Smiths, um, but I just loved them. I couldn't not have them knowing that we're going to Disney. So I'm going to start to wear these around the house um, immediately because I need to break them in. Um, but yeah, I just, they're just gorgeous. Hang on, which way around do they go? Like that. And you've got the tongues and stuff. So yeah, so I'll kind of intermingle in the parks between these and these. And then I've also got a pair of black, um, more sort of chunky River Island training of trainers that I'm going to take for the plane. Then I have these, which are my black flip flops. Um, these are quite expensive ones. I have a really high arch on my foot. So these actually were 30 quid. I'll try and link them below where I got them from. I can't quite remember the name of the company. Um, oh, they're actually called Archies, would you believe? Um, but they're super comfy. So I know that I'm going to put these in my plane bag for when I get off the plane. I might try and take them in the parks as well if I think my feet are quite sore because they are super comfy. Um, so definitely taking those. And then I'm going to take two pairs of sliders as well, just for sort of evenings and cash, you know? Around to accessories. Obviously, I'm taking some ears. Um, and I've talked about these before. I've got Tinkerbell ones and I have got Toy Story ones. And then I have got um, just a plain black and red pair from the same company again. We'll tag down below. Um, sunglasses, I absolutely love sunglasses. So I've got loads of different ones. I'd love to get some while I'm out there. But the ones that I will definitely be taking are my Celine's. Um, I've got two pairs of Ray-Bans like this and then a sort of more browny, goldy pair. And then um, these are just lipsy sort of black ones because unfortunately my nice, are they Calvin Klein? Got broken in the summer. So yeah, so that's kind of accessory wise what I'll take. Then moving on to sort of toiletries and stuff. And I bought these from Primark recently, um, just like a makeup bag and then um, sort of toiletries. And these are very basic in terms of what I'm taking. Again, washlets, we'll have those everywhere with us. Um, I'm gonna take some gel eye patches. I might even do these on the plane, just cause your skin gets so dehydrated. So definitely taking some of those. We'll always need my migraine tablets. For anybody who suffers from migraines, these are amazing. Then 
we've got a mini little um, deodorant to put in our part bags as well. So we'll take that. Again, in the part bag, I just got these from um, Primark, some hand cream because I get really dry hands. Hair frizz stuff will be an absolute must because honestly, I'm, I'm going to look like Monica on Friends when she goes to the Caribbean otherwise. Very important. Mosquito and insect repellent, again, for the park bag. Just a little ditty thing of cotton wool. Dry shampoo, always important. Razor, nobody needs hairy legs. And then I picked up like a little mini um, lip balm as well. It's definitely to go on the plane because your skin does get so dry. And then a huge bottle of deodorant because I know I'm going to be absolutely boiling. Then makeup wise, I've just got a few bits out. Obviously, this isn't my full makeup bag um, that I'm taking, but it's just stuff that I've kind of thought about. I'm going to give a try. Obviously, this is my first time, as I've said, in Florida, so I don't know what makeup is going to work, but this is kind of what I'm taking. So I've got the Lacora, which is obviously the Aldi version um, of a BB cream because I think a foundation will just slide on off. Um, so I'm definitely going to try that. I've then got some concealers and sort of highlighters um, and sort of contours that I've used and I like the Revolution ones. And then somebody definitely recommended that you take a really good fixing spray with you just to try and fix it in place because you do do a lot of sweating. Um, so yeah, so that's, you know, and then I'll obviously have things like mascaras and eyeshadows and all that sort of jazz. Finally then, um, I picked these up ages ago. They're Caroline Guards in the bags and they're just sort of like little really handy bags for putting any of your bits and bobs in. Obviously, I've got no underwear or, you know, all the other sort of essentials and stuff. This is a really kind of quick overview of what we're taking um, sort of with us. So, yeah, so these are really handy. They're really good size. I can't remember where I got them from, but, yeah, just really good and handy to put in maybe shoes, flip-flops, whatever you need to put in. A really rough idea of what... I'm taking it'll be really interesting to see when we come back and I do a proper packing haul for May as to whether I think any of it was needed what wasn't needed did we forget anything oh god can you imagine um but yeah please comment down below is there anything that I have missed because this will be going out just before we go hopefully so if there is anything please comment down below of any essentials that you think Chris and I have forgotten um yeah, just, just let us know if there's anything, if you enjoyed it, if you found it useful, um, would be really, really helpful. And as always, thanks so much for supporting our channel. Please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe because after this vlog, I think the next one will be an actual Florida Disney vlog. So excited. Um, so yeah, so thanks as always for watching. Um, yeah, give us a thumbs up. Click the subscribe notification buttons. And uh, yeah, definitely follow us over on the Welsh Christopher Wobbin. Wobbin? Robin on Instagram and we will see you same time same place six o'clock on Saturdays have a great week guys see you soon bye